It's the battle of the pirates or Vikings pirates. I mean, they kind of pirated. I mean, hey, I don't know, but it's the Vikings. It's the Bucks. Only thing missing is the Raiders, but on in, in a football game, it's only 1v1, all right? Anyways, man, it is the Minnesota Vikings. They're traveling to Tampa Bay. Now, the Vikings have a, a, a offense that you would expect to maybe be more explosive for starting quarterback Dante Culpepper at the helm, but it has not been that way. And yes, it's only been one game, but in that first game of the season, they scored less than 10 points. And the way our Bucks defense can play, it could be a long day because I do think that we have taken a step in the right direction with our defense. And yes, I'm basing that off of just one game. But I never felt like we were behind the offense last week versus those Green Bay Packers. Now, the Packers, maybe they don't have the greatest offense either. But hey, it's a new game. It's a new day. It's a new Sunday. It is kind of wet out there here in Tampa Bay. You know, sometimes you get the rainstorms randomly. And that's what we're playing in the day. They're going to run the ball with Miller. And Miller's going to pick up a decent gain of four. So third down and five, they run the ball again, and that's a no-no, not versus this Buccaneers defense. Second down and nine, Welch throws it to the left side, caught by Kozlowski. He's looking to have a fantastic season, maybe lead the league in receiving and receiving yards and maybe touchdowns, the triple crown. So Calak picks up nine. We give it to him again, going to pick up two. Nine plus two is 11. You need 10 for a first down. We got a first down. And then we give the ball to Wright, who lost the football after running the man over, and James is going to recover it. So, so much for their offense. Our offense got to do a better job. It is only one play, but we just do not want that to be a theme of today's video. Culpepper to the outside trying to get loose, and Ryan is there for the stop. Ryan Neese coming through in a major way, and then Houston, our rookie. He comes through blowing up that screen pass, and we take over at the force and the three and out. And look at Cadillac. He's like, I know there's some running back controversy, but let me run the rocks, coach. Just let me run the rock. They're going to go with a play fake now. Welch under pressure, and down he goes. So let me second down and 12. Welch steps back, looking, throws it to Kozlowski. That's going to get us back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Welch going to slide left, looking for Kozlowski, who goes on top, and that is another dime by Dre Welch. His passing is just so beautiful. Arm talent is top notch. Second down and 13, we get the ball to Frank Gore. And Frank Gore's first carry goes for a gain of one. Third down and two now, Welch throwing it deep downfield. And that pass will be broken up. So Minnesota's going to take back over. 0-0 zero, zero, still the score. They're going to find Campbell, and that's good for a first down. First down and 10. Toss play now to Miller. Phillips is there to force him to slow up. And then he's going to get dropped down by Young Barrett Root as we head to the second quarter of play. So still a 0-0 ball game. Miller, he gets the carry to the left side. Goes nowhere. Third down and nine. Culpepper fires it. Caught by Campbell, but out of bounds. And the Buccaneers defense holds again. So Welch, can we lead a touchdown drive or a field goal drive? Can we get some type of points, please? Going to find Clayton for a first down. Looking down for Clayton again. Makes the catch. Dragged down at the first down marker, but just shy. So second down initially, we get the ball to Caddy. Takes a pretty big hit, but has a first down. We give it to Cadillac again. Going to work his way upfield, and he fumbles. But we're there for the recovery. So both backs have fumbled. Maybe we'll see a little bit more of Frank Gore. Cadillac gets the carry again, though. Picks up around four. We're going to run the ball with right and right. He's going to pick up the rest. And we have ourselves a fresh set of ten. Welch surveying the field. Drops it off to Clayton in traffic, who makes the catch. And we're up to the Vikings' 25-yard line. Welch sets his feet. Fires it. Caught by Stump. And this is a very methodical drive. Not too many big plays, but not too many bonehead plays either. And that should have been a touchdown, but it's going to be dropped by Watson. So we run the ball with Williams, and we get closer to the five. We can still get a first down without getting a touchdown. And we're going to get neither as we get sacked. So send out the kick team. Vickers lines it up, hits it home, and we got three up on the board. Campbell from his own end zone is going to bring this one up to the ten. And he's going to get dragged down at the 15. The ball comes out, and Ratliff is there for the recovery. So second down and six. We get the ball to the right. Makes one guy miss, and then he's going to fall to the side. And set up third down in the round two. We got Cook wide open in the flat, who drops it. He had a drop last week as well. He might not be the receiving type of fullback that we all know and love 
on this here channel that we might need to go sign. Anyways, Campbell, can he hang on to the football this time? He breaks a tackle, and he does hang on to the ball before he gets tackled. Miller makes the man miss, and he's going to hit that hole, and he's going to pick up the first down. Now Miller breaks the tackle, gets brought down before he could pick up a first down, but does pick up a gain of eight. Second down and two. Quick pass over the middle, caught by Mays, and that was a Dawkins dime. That's the cold pepper that most people know and love. Gonna fire this one downfield, broken up by Schultz. So second down and ten. They ended the backfield out. Cold pepper surveys the field. Has all day in the pocket and throws a Yahoo! Zay. Hurt. I said, give me that, yeah, give me that user interception. We got this thing on back the other way. And then Welch gets sacked. So loss of three on that play. Second down and 13. Looking for stump. Makes the catch, and that should be enough for the first down. And it is. First down and 10. Welch surveying the field, and he's going to run out of time. Loss of seven for number seven. Second down and 17. We throw it to Clayton underneath the coverage. Picks up a decent gain of 10. So it's third down and seven now. And we're going to find Stump who completes it or who makes the reception. Good completion by Welch. And it's a first down. I'm going to to Kozlowski. And this passing attack is a marvel to watch, to say the least. Welch fires it to the end zone. Caught by Clayton. Get Moss, Minnesota. Get Moss. Beautiful catch. And that's going to be a touchdown to end the first half. So 13 to nada is the score. Ratliff from inside his own five. Works his way up past the 20-yard line. It's going to be first down and 10 from there. And then Cadillac lost his helmet. Thank goodness his head was not stuck in it. Second down and 13. Welch surveys the field. Throws it to Clayton again. We have two receivers that can flat out make play after play after play. And traffic doesn't matter. One-on-one, -on -one, zone coverage, doesn't matter. They're going to make the play for you. Because Lowski takes a hit, but he makes the play for us. Third down and short. Throwing it to Frank Gore in the flat. Makes the man pay for trying to tackle him. And that's going to result in a first down, Frank Gore. It is nice to have you on the roster. We're going to fire that thing to Watson. Watson getting loose, and he's going to work his way upfield for a first down. And Dre Welch is hurt. That is something that we saw way too much last year. And that's why we signed David Carr to be our backup. It's not too bad to have a former number one overall pick to be your backup quarterback. Right up the gut. Going to pick up a first down. First down and 10. I'm going to give that thing to Williams. And obviously we're going to try to run the ball a little bit more now that our starting quarterback is out. As Brian Williams is a little bit shaken up. Second down and 7. Going to give it to Frank Gore. Falls forward for a gain of 2. So third down and 5. Carr has it. Going to throw it over the middle. The pass was behind. Kozlowski Slaughter is there with waiting arms to greet the football. So they get the pick that they needed. They get the stop that they needed, more importantly. And now just down by two possessions. They could come back. Second down and nine. Miller gets the carry again. And there is nothing doing in the ground game for number 28. Third down and nine. Culpepper has it. Culpepper still has it. Fires it. That pass going to be broken up. That is our rookie Nicholson who is playing nickelback for us. I like the band and I like the position, but one day he will be our starter. Anyways, first down and 10. We're going to run the ball with right and right. He's going to pick up a solid game, setting up second down and five. Give it to Cad. He's going to follow Cook, and this offense is absolutely cooking. Grandma's recipe with extra seasoning. Okay, it might be too much seasoning, but hey, flavor is flavor. Second down and four. We're going to run the ball with Williams, and we get dropped in the backfield. So third down and seven. Carr looking downfield, still looking, and we're going to run out of time, but at least we didn't throw a pick, and that's going to do it for the third quarter of play. So fourth quarter, going to send that field goal team out there, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So three points to kick off the fourth quarter action. Still just a two-possession game, but the way our defense is playing and the way this Vikings offense is playing, that could be enough to end this game. Cole Pepper has time, throws it deep, and it's going to be broken up by Kelly. Third down and four now. Split back look for Minnesota. And the pass rush is going to get there. That's big bugger McFarlane. And that's going to result in a punt. So we take over. Cadillac gets the carry. Going to pick up six. Second down and four. Give it to Williams one more time. Able to maneuver his way through traffic and pick up a first down. We're going to run the ball. And that play got absolutely blown up from the jump. Loss of four. Car dropping back. Still looking. Throws it to Kozlowski. Brings it in. Even David Carr knows you throw the ball to number two early and often. Williams, he gets loose. Look at Williams. He's going to pick up the first down and gets dragged down at the 20. 
First down and 10. Give it to Cadillac one more time. Inside the 15 he goes. Gain of eight. Give the ball to right. This offensive line, standing ovation. Everybody deserves extra, I don't know, gravy with your steak and I don't know what you like, but whatever it is, have extra of it. Williams, he's going to get the carry. We're going to get inside the one. Third and goal from the goal line, and we get inside the end zone. Give him six, and that should put the game on ice. 23 to nothing is the score. The Vikings are still going to play like, you know, they get paid to play. And they're going to pick up six yards right there in the passing game. Cole Pepper has it, surveys the field, throws it, nearly intercepted. Third down and the four now for Cole Pepper, who surveys the field again, throws this one up. It's going to be caught by Taylor. Move those chains for the Vikings. Inside Tampa Bay territory. Quick pass to the left side, going to fall incomplete. Second down and 10. Cole Pepper's just going to take off with it. Houston, who can run? That man can run. He's big. He's kind of beefy, but the man can run. Going to chase down Culpepper. And now Burleson, he makes the catch, and he gets loose. So just shy of the 20. First down and 10. Culpepper trying to take off again. He does. Gets away from Phillips. Gets brought down by McFarlane, and that's going to be a first down. Culpepper, again, has time. Throws it to the corner of the end zone. Broken up. Great play bar secondary. Second down and 10. Culpepper, again, has time. Fires it, and Campbell brings it in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Going to go for two. And Cole Pepper's going to run it in himself. So 23-8 to eight is the score. Got to go for the onside kick, and they got to get a stop without surrendering any points. Or this one will officially, officially be over. Or we could just milk the clock. Let's see what happens as Clayton recovers the onside kick. Going to run the ball with Williams. Gets out of one tackle. Following his blockers who just created a highway. The old line of Tampa, they also are construction workers. They have been building highways and lanes all up and down the Minnesota Vikings back. We're going to run the ball with Caddy. Going to pick up a gain of around six. So third down and one. We give it to Frank Gore. And Frank Gore falls forward. Picks up the first down by the skin of his elbow. And that is going to do it. 23-8 to eight is the final. And your Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 2-0. 2-0. and oh. Two and oh. We're going to have to rock with David Carr for a while because Kozlowski is out for three weeks, as you can see right there. So that does suck. But again, this is something that I talked to you guys late last season. And I felt like we might have to draft somebody or find somebody. And I would much rather have a David Carr who turned out to be a career backup as my backup than a Steve McNair. We could have went after Steve McNair, but Steve McNair might have something left in the tank. He was going to be a backup here. And yes, Welch has injury issues, but again... McNair, probably a starter, probably don't want him to be a backup. Don't want to see him as a backup. I'm going to let him play for the Raiders. That might be worse than being our backup here. But anyways, man, I think Carr will be able to get it done. We're probably going to focus more on the ground game. We got Frank Gore. We got Cadillac Williams. We got Austin Wright. I think we're going to be A-OK. -okay. And if our defense plays like it's been playing... I think we're really going to be okay. Anyways, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope that the rest of your day is the best today. Peace, love. Hot sauce.